Hello guys, what's up? Today is the fourth part of this series. You see, this is the calculator I have already made. But it doesn't work because I didn't give it functionality. So let's make this calculator functional. Go to FXML document and open it with scene builder. You see, Whenever I press any button, the corresponding values are popped up into this text field. But we do not press this text field, we just see it. So, whenever we press 5, we need to set this text field a value 5. So that's why we need to identify this text field. And so we are giving this text field a ID. So click the text field and go to code section and give this text field an ID. For example, I am giving this text field as text display. Again you see these are the digits. We can create a general method for all of the digits except this one because when you click one or two a general method called digit will be called by one or four and this method will append the value and display it to this screen but you see when I click this decimal point it will also be appended to this text field but once only you cannot have this decimal point two or more in a single number so for all of these digits a method digit will be called and for this another method decimal will be called again you see those buttons are general purpose buttons when we click all clear button that clears the screen when you click divide button it also clears the screen and save the value of this screen to the first number variable first number variable so by clicking divide we save the value of this screen to first number and again we can take input 4 5 or anything you want this inputs call digit method and then at last when you click this button it gets the first number and gets the corresponding general purpose action and displays the result for example whenever we click 4 and then divide you see after clicking this button this screen is empty or cleared and the number 4 is saved into a variable and again we can enter another number suppose it's 2 and let's generate the result you see 4 divided by 2 is equal 2 so this is the first number this is the operation this is the second number and this generates the result so for this button we will create another method so how many methods do we have 
for digits we have a digit method for decimal point we have a decimal point method for this we have a general action method and for this we have equal methods so we have total four methods let's create the methods so at first check all the digits except this one and set a method for example i am setting handler digit action and for this buttons i am setting handler general action and for this i am setting handler decimal action and last for this handler equal action let's save it and go to netbeans you see there shows some errors why because we are calling this methods handler general action handler general action and so on handler digit action but we didn't create these methods so let's create these methods in fxml document controller file so create fxml document and go to make controller you see the errors are gone and some methods handler general action handler digit action are gener generated automatically so let's deal with this actions <laughs>